Hello grade 10s and welcome to this lesson on the distributive law. Before we begin, let's revise some of the basics you should already know. A product is the answer to a multiplication question and I need you to remember to use the rules of BODMAS. BODMAS is an acronym that helps us remember the order of operations in which we must solve a given expression. B is for brackets. O is for of. D is for division, M is for multiplication, A is for addition, and S is for subtraction. If we don't use BODMAS when doing a calculation, we won't get the answer right. So this is very important to remember. We use distributive law when we need to multiply a variable or number into a bracket to get rid of the brackets. Let's do some examples together. This example asks us to simplify 3, open brackets, x squared plus 3x minus 10, close brackets. The expression contains just one term, but if we look inside the brackets, we see three terms separated by the plus and the minus. Bodmas tells us we must first simplify within the brackets before multiplying out the brackets. There are no like terms to add within the brackets, so let's move on to the outside of the brackets. Using distributive law, we can multiply positive 3 by positive x squared is equal to 3x squared. Positive 3 times positive 3x is equal to 9x. And positive 3 times negative 10 is equal to negative 30. That example was relatively easy. Where most people get confused is where there is more than one term in an expression. Let's do a question like that. Simplify the expression 2 minus 6, open brackets, y squared plus 3x cubed, close brackets. This expression has two terms and we can see that by the minus that separates them. The first term is 2 and the second term is 6, open brackets, y squared plus 3x cubed. Applying BODMAS, we first try to simplify what's in the brackets. There are no like terms, so let's apply distributive law. Distributing the negative 6, we get an answer of 2 minus 6y squared minus 18x cubed. The 2 does not multiply into the brackets because it is a separate term to them. Let's look at two more examples. Simplify the expression negative 3 open brackets p squared minus 4p minus 6 close brackets plus 2. There are two terms in the expression separated by the plus. There are three terms within the brackets, but the brackets hold them together, keeping them as one. Again in this example, only the negative 3 is next to the bracket and needs to be distributed. Negative 3 times p squared is negative p squared. Negative 3 times minus 4p is plus 12p. And negative 3 times minus 6 is plus 18. The 2 is not multiplied by negative 3 because it is a separate term. We add the like terms and get an answer of negative 3p squared plus 12p plus 20. Let us wrap up with one last example. Simplify the expression 4xy open brackets xy minus 5x plus 2y close brackets, minus 3xy, open brackets, 2xy, minus x, plus 6y, close brackets. There are two terms in the expression. Here we are required to multiply the 4xy into the first bracket and then the negative 3xy into the second bracket. This gives us 4x squared, y squared, minus 20x squared y plus 8xy squared minus 6x squared y squared plus 3x squared 
y minus 6xy squared. And lastly, add any like terms, giving us an answer of negative 2x squared, y squared, minus 17x squared, y, plus 2xy squared. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about products on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.